I just want to talk to you today about three things, three things that you can do that you probably are already doing that can help you or further enhance your life. How many of us would love to be able to wave a magic wand and what would I say, just make life so much better. You know, we struggle these days maybe to get up. We've got all of this news going on. We just, just these are just three things to help us. Three things that literally could help you feel like you've waved a magic wand in your life and changed it. And there are three things you're probably already doing. And you can probably see the glass in my hand. And the first one is water. You probably drink a little water in your day. I'm going to encourage you to drink a little bit more. I know there's many views out there about water, but when it comes to us as beings, we, we came from the sea, believe it or not. That's where we evolved from. We are water beings. Over 70% of our body is water. And that water gets used up throughout the day. It's used all our body needs. If you think about your car, if you have a car, and that car um, had no water in it, well, it wouldn't run. And your engine would end up seizing. Well, it's the same with us. Water. We need to, this is the difference, sip, swivel and swallow the water. So sip a little bit into your mouth, swivel it around your mouth and swallow it. What that's doing is, it's just like eating. When you're swiveling the water around your mouth, that's just like an eating movement. And it's letting your body know, because the first um, indicators to your whole body of what's coming from your food is, is through your, your mouth, your salivary glands and all that's going on in here, your tongue. So when you swivel water around your mouth, you're letting your body know it's coming. And your body then will absorb it as the water goes into your mouth. And you're taking little, little sips of it in at a time. Now, there's lots of research on how much water to drink in a day. And some have even gone so far as to say, depending on your body weight, this is how much water you should drink. I tend to say a litre and a half to two litres is good. And you sip, swivel, swallow. And if you get up at eight o'clock in the morning, you start drinking around that and finish around six in the evening. That's 10 hours. And 200 mils an hour, roughly, that's, that's as much water as you need to drink in a day. If you drink water in fast, water out fast. And I always say, you know, our kidneys need to work. They need water. I know so many people say to me, but if I drink water, I go to the toilet a lot. That's, that's what's meant to happen. Your kidneys are meant to work. So you need regular toilet breaks. You need your kidneys working for you. You need them clearing out toxins from your body. Sip, swivel, swallow the water. Fizzy drinks. Not the same job. Tea and coffee, not the same job. They do a totally different job. It's water. A litre and a half to two litres of water a day. That's the first thing, first step. And as I said, you're already doing it. So it's just changing it a little. Sip, swivel, swallow. Next thing is exercise. And you might think when I mention exercise, I mean get into the gym and exercise or get on the rebounder as I do and exercise. I'm actually talking about the ordinary everyday exercise that we should be doing. Again, our body needs exercise. Our lymphatic system is relying on us to exercise. And that's not just um, about going to the gym or getting out on your bike or getting on your rebounder. And that's, that's absolutely part of it. It's the ordinary exercise. It's being bothered to walk up the stairs or bend down to pick something up that sort of exercise. It's the ordinary things that we do in our day, cleaning our house, um, you know, going, making a bed, walking to the shop instead of getting in the car, if you can do that. Um, th that sort of exercise, Pick, as I said already, picking something up, stretching up to get something. So be very aware, you know, rather than say, oh, I couldn't be bothered doing that. Exercise, do it. It is exercise. It's adding to your exercise in the day and it's it's something you're doing anyway. Get up from your computer. If you're sitting at a computer at home, get up, stretch, write into your day, into your plan, five or six things throughout your day that, that will force you to do a little bit of ordinary exercise, whether it's um, bring clothes up the stairs, put clothes in the washing machine, um, fill the dishwasher, make sure you're bending down, stretch your legs as you're, ex as you're bending down. Do things that get you moving. Put on a CD and dance. Exercise, ordinary, normal things throughout your day, especially if you're sitting at a desk. Get up and stretch, yawn, go and get some water, sip, swivel, swallow. 
The third thing is breathing. Again, something we do every day. But I'm going to add into it. So it's a third thing that's got two things combined to it. Place your hands on your solar plexus. That's just between the bottom of the ribs and your belly button. And place your hands there. I tend to place my less dominant hand first and then my dominant hand. That's the hand I don't write with. And then the hand I do write with on top of that. And I just put my hands there and breathe. I close my mouth, actually. That's another thing I add in. And sometimes maybe close my eyes. I don't even have to do that. I can be sitting in company. But I just place my hands here and I breathe. And I normally always will be very grateful for all the organs that are working away in under my hands. Because in here, we have got the liver, part of the large intestine, small intestine, part of it as well. We've got the gallbladder, we've got the stomach, we've got the kidneys, the adrenals, we've got the pancreas, the spleen, all living in this area, this band around here, part of the lungs, the diaphragm as well. And do we ever thank them or be grateful for the work that they do? It's totally subconscious, working away in there for us. So take your breath, breathe through your nose, and just be truly grateful. I, that's exactly what I say. I truly am grateful. I truly am blessed. Even if I want to kill half the country, I truly am grateful. I truly am blessed. Because that even if I want to kill is an indication that you're stressed. You're not coping, you're not managing, you're stressed. So just breathe with your mouth closed, if you can, through your nose, in and out, and just say something like, I truly am grateful, I truly am blessed. And it's if you can add to that by saying, I truly am grateful for my children, I truly am grateful for, name them, I truly am grateful for my job, even if I don't feel like I want to be there right now, but I truly am grateful for it, I truly am grateful for the salary I earn, I truly am grateful for the air I can breathe, I truly am grateful for just being able to take these few minutes. Find things to be grateful for. Because the law of attraction tells us the more we can be grateful, the more we'll get things to be grateful for. The more the universe will gift us. And it doesn't have to be big things. I can be grateful for the shoes I have on my feet. I can be grateful for the roof I have over my head. So there's three things you can do every day. Today, throughout your day. Pencil them into your diary if you need to. Drink water. Sip, swivel, swallow. A litre and a half to two litres a day. Exercise. Be very aware of the ordinary things you do in your day. Again, write them into your day. Make your plan. Not just of going on the rebounder or walking or cycling, but the ordinary things of go up the stairs if you're working from home. Climb the stairs. If you need to go to another office, climb the stairs. Pick something up, bend down. Stretch. Get up off your chair exercise. Ordinary things help you do that. Make the beds in the house, dust, clean, wash the bath out, whatever it is. They're all forms of exercise. And the third one is solar plexus breathing. And this is the solar plexus. Hands here. And again, as I said, close your mouth, breathe through your nose and be grateful. Be blessed. And I always use a truly statement. I truly am grateful. I truly am blessed. Have a fabulous day. There are three things you can do at any time, any place. Write them into your diary. Write them into your life. And at the end of your day, reflect over it. Did you drink your water? Sip, swivel, swallow it. Did you add in, were you, were you moving in your day? Did you add some more movement breaks into your day? Did you do some breathing with your hands here? And tick them off and celebrate celebrate your success because it's a success in a day when we can do things to help ourselves when we show up to help ourselves have a fabulous monday like and share this and get more people doing simple things that we already do in our day but just retuning them slightly refocusing them waving a magic wand and just helping ourselves